Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and OnlineFirstAid.com. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what to do if you accidentally chop your finger off or if you bruise your fingers because you've cut them into, you've shut them into something. Anything with a hinge on it can potentially um, chop fingers off. Um, so slamming doors, um, knives and things as well, they're, they're pretty lethal too. Um, putting your finger somewhere where there is like a bicycle chain or something. Uh, it's actually a relatively common injury. And with the right care and attention, the majority of the time, the injured uh, or the, the severed part can actually be reattached and be working again. So first aid is really important. If you have chopped your finger off, your priority is obviously to stop the bleeding. So stop the bleeding, um, apply direct pressure, and if it's a child, then make sure that before you fiddle around with um, the, the severed part or anything, that you're actually caring for them and making sure that they're completely calm and the bleeding is under control. Then the severed finger, hopefully not this big, but if there is a bit of finger that has come off, um, what you need to do is wrap it in some clean, non-fluffy cloth. And the same when you're applying pressure, please don't grab for anything that is fluffy. So please don't use loo roll or anything because actually that will stick into the wound and make it that much harder for us to have a clean wound in order to, um, to, to sew things on again. Uh, obviously, we're going to clean it. But um, if there's bits of fluff in there, it does make it that little bit harder. So don't wash the finger no matter what it has fallen in because you don't want to lose bits. We want to be able to um, sew it on properly, microsurgery. So running the, under the tap will lose important stuff. We will clean it when it gets there. So um, wrap it in a clean, non-fluffy cloth, um, put it in a plastic bag and stick it on an ice pack. You are chilling it, you are not freezing it. All the myths about, you know, you put ice, put it straight in ice or shove it in the freezer, you will cause ice burns and you actually destroy the tissue so we, it won't be able to be used. So you are chilling it because it's meat and you're preventing it from decomposing and enabling it to be reattached as quickly as possible in the best condition possible. If the finger is partly attached, if you think there's still a blood supply, then if you're able to just bandage something around it and get them to hospital quickly, then that would be fantastic. And if they're just bruised, then run under cool running water um, for at least 10 minutes. I hope that's been useful. That's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and onlinefirstaid.com.